welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, then I'm Rimi. Today I'm making a video on my everyday makeup routine. On a daily basis, I don't really wear as much makeup. I don't even wear any makeup if I'm just staying in for that day. I wouldn't wear anything besides moisturizer. I mean, my skin is super dry. I need some moisturizer and some lip balms. So that's something I would wear pretty much every single day. But then days when I do wear makeup or if I'm going somewhere, especially the days I go to work, I do wear a little bit of makeup. Usually my makeup routine it consists of eight products or less. It takes me about 10 minutes or less to get ready for work or if I'm just going out to run some errands or just going somewhere and not doing makeup videos and I usually don't wear that much makeup. Now I know that a lot of these things might not work for your specific needs. Um, you might need a little bit more coverage or you might need less coverage or you might not even worry about your brows or anything. But in my case, these products are what I like to use. So yeah, let's jump into the video. I will zoom you guys in. I'll show you guys all the products that I'm using in this video. I will also list them down in the description box if you want to check them out, you can. And this is literally the makeup products I just pulled out of my everyday makeup bag. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please keep watching. I do use a color corrector. Uh, it's a peach color corrector from City Colors. As you can see, I use this product pretty much every day. So the writing's kind of gone from here. So that's how it looks. And I just use my finger to kind of just warm up the product and I just directly apply it under my eye. I don't go that heavy handed, just lightly uh, pat it on. Um, I, I noticed that this way it blends and looks smoother and also gives me a pretty good coverage and pretty fast. And when I am getting ready every day, I don't really have that much time. I feel like with my finger, it's much faster and easier for me. So I just use that. But you can see that did make a pretty good difference compared to my left eye to my right eye. So I just do that. I will go ahead and do that for my eyelids as well. In, in my everyday makeup routine, I don't really use eyeshadow. Once in a while, if I have more time or if I feel like it, I'll just throw in one color. I do color correct a little bit around my mouth as well, but not like that intense or anything. The same way, just lightly pat it on. So yeah, that makes a huge difference once I put the color corrector on. I feel like that's all the coverage I really need. And then I just go straight to powder. For my everyday routine, I usually go in with a powder like this. Today I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder. It's the Matte and Poreless Powder. This is in color 235. So what I do is I usually use the sponge that comes in the packaging because I do like to press in the powder versus just dust in on my face. So I just take a little dab and then just kind of press it in under my eyes. The, this helps the color corrector not to not crease because I have a lot of um, you know folds and kind of creases under my eyes. So that's something um, is important to me in my routine. Just kind of press in the powder. So that's it for the base. I'm going to do my brows now. And recently what I'm enjoying using is this Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in color 315 Deep Brown. So here's the pencil. I did a review on this eyebrow pencil. So if you haven't watched that video, I'll link that video down below and you can go check that out. I usually like this bully that comes with my Wet n Wild Brow Definer pencil, which is much skinnier and longer. So I, I prefer this spoolie. You'll see me use this. I just lightly feather in. I don't really do too much of a defined brow for my everyday look. As you can see, I don't have a lot of brow hairs towards my outer corner, so I do have to kind of draw them in. So I try to concentrate there a little bit more. I just like to follow my natural brow shape. So that's basically what I do. and just define it a little bit. And then I go in with my Wet n Wild brow pencils um, spoolie and then just kind of brush comb it through and diffuse the brow so that it looks more blended so my next step is to apply some mascara on my lower lash line so what i have been enjoying lately is using this revlon uh, volume and length magnified mascara it is very lightweight mascara it doesn't give like whole lot of volume or length or anything it doesn't make your lashes look spidery i do have a review on this product as well 
So I will link that down below as well if you want to check that out. So this just helps my lashes to look a little bit more defined. It still has a natural look going on. The next product I like to use is a bronzer. I definitely like to use a bronzer because that defines my outer perimeter of the face. The product I like to use on a daily basis is this NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder and this is in the shade Sunny. As you can see, I hit the pen already. I pretty much use this bronzer every single day. The color is perfect for just lightly warming up my face. So I just start from kind of hollows of my cheek and I don't concentrate the color too much. I just kind of lightly bronze around the perimeter of my face just to give a little warmth. I also like to go a little bit under my chin as well. Uh, this gives a nice shadow underneath my chin. I like how defined it makes my cheekbone look. And then I apply some blush. I like to use some blush because I feel like it gives your face this nice beautiful glow and adding a little bit of color in your face just makes a huge difference and it doesn't even take that long to apply it. So the blush I'm using currently in my everyday routine for the last few weeks is this Hickory blush in color Tangle. It's pretty pigmented so I just lightly go, kind of place the color first, kind of dab in it on and then I just blend it with the same brush that I applied my bronzer with. I feel like this way um, I get a nice blended look with the bronzer. The next step is optional. I do this sometimes and sometimes I don't. I skip it whenever I feel like I'm in a rush, I don't have enough time. But whenever I feel like a little extra special and have a little bit more time in hand, I do like to do this step, adding a highlighter. So now I have been enjoying um, this When Wild Mega Glow Hello Halo highlighter. What I do is either I'll take a little bit on my fingertip and then just kind of warm it up. Just dab it in and blend it away with my finger just a little bit. I feel like this way you get a more natural highlight versus a harsh um, glow slightly on the tip of my nose and kind of like down the bridge of my nose a little bit and then a little over my cupid's bow. And the last thing I do is put on a lipstick. So usually I go for a liquid lip and my most favorite color and liquid lip right now for my everyday makeup routine is this One Wild Mega Last Liquid Capsule Liquid Lipstick in color Give Me Mocha 925B. I feel like this is such a flattering color for brown skin tone and I know it will stay put um, throughout the whole time I'm at work or outside so I really trust this liquid lipstick and this color. So yeah, that's it. I usually apply two coats of the lipstick. I do apply some lip balm underneath it that helps my lips to stay hydrated most of the day. It does dry out towards the end of the day but besides that it's not too bad. So yeah, that's the finished look. That's my everyday makeup routine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this look. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate all of you and all of your kind comments and please keep them coming if you are not subscribed to my channel yet then make sure to hit that subscribe button before you guys leave and make sure to hit that bell button next to it as well so that you can get notified every time i upload a new video and i will also list all of these products that i used today and if i reviewed any of these products i will leave the links to those videos down below as well make sure to check that out and I will leave links to all my social media as well. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and all of that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.